Hi, I'm Rodney Irwin, Tegu's Only. If you are like most people in the reptile world, you probably have heard and have questions about the proposed ban on Florida reptiles. Now, this is something that's happened before and were shut down. This year, it seems to have a little extra momentum. Senators like to make up a bill listing reptiles that they would like to see banned. Then they send it to the legislature for a vote. And many times like this, it passes. This is scary, spooky stuff. However, the Florida Constitution is very specific about what the legislature can and cannot do. I'm getting calls and emails and seeing posts in the forums from people wanting to know what they should do with their tegus. They're convinced that the bill passed the legislature, so it is law or about to become law. But it cannot happen until the FWC votes on it. That has not happened. FWC could pass it as it is now, modify it, and try to find some common ground with the Senate, or simply deny it. Fortunately, FWC understands the dynamics and the ramifications of passing it as it is now. If the intent of this bill is to protect Florida natives, the result will be an increase in the number of tegus that are killing our natives. It's just uh, not a good idea and it works against the principles it's trying to accomplish. The bill will destroy my business that I have spent the past six years building and should it happen, I will no longer be allowed to work and save the countless natives that will become tegu food if I stop doing what I do. You should follow the situation closely. Now, the easiest and best way to do that is through U.S. ARC. They are the United States Association of Reptile Keepers. They get this. They have attorneys and they're on our side. So please get involved and do everything you can.